the big story here at five, Anthony Johnson Jr.'s family is once again asking for answers about his death at the Tarrant County Jail. Just last week, the Tarrant County Medical Examiner ruled Johnson's death a homicide. Our Amelia McGavro with the family's next move in the investigation. I'm happy that everyone can finally see that it was a homicide. My brother was murdered. The family of Anthony Johnson says they are relieved and angry after the Tarrant County Medical Examiner confirmed someone else took their loved one's life while he was held in the Tarrant County Jail. I not only got to birth my son, but I also got to see him die. On Friday, the medical examiner reported Johnson died from mechanical and chemical asphyxia. Investigators saying the use of pepper spray and methamphetamine were both contributors. And there have been people who have said that one of the jailers actually took the pepper spray and sprayed it in Anthony's mouth. A portion of the video was released by the jail. Tarrant County investigators say employee Rafael Moreno put a knee into Johnson's back, which is against department policy. Moreno and his supervisor, Lieutenant Joel Garcia, were both fired, then reinstated. The family now wanting to see the full video released to the public. I don't know why it so has it been released. Garcia's attorney Randall Moore sent a statement in part. He is saddened by the outcome and is also saddened by the fact there were about 20 more people involved for unknown reasons. Only two were singled out by the sheriff. The family attorney Daryl Washington says indictments could be filed against Moreno and Garcia by the end of the month. Parents are not supposed to bury their children and they don't want this to happen to nobody else. Now, CBS News Texas has made a request to see the full video of the incident along with the full medical examiner report and have not heard back. And as of right now, there's been calls from Washington and local and state leaders to have the DOJ take over this investigation. In Tarrant County, Amelia McGalvero, CBS News Texas.